no dance? What, no, what ain't no dancing. There ain't no dancing at all anymore because it's over. I'm used to something. You know, roll ball like this. <laughs> I was looking. I was looking around like. Oh, what can I incorporate? And I was like, bitch, just you know what? I'm, the I'm tired. I'm tired. Let me just get the end of the season going. And the fact that we have one more week to go for it to completely end. But all right. Let's Listen, get at all it. I can say, all I can say is thank the heavens above for DVR and fast forward because that's why I don't watch it when it originally airs. Because I ain't got time for all that playback bullshit. I've already been traumatized enough. I just want to listen to what y'all got to say. And when Kevin Frazier is like, let's go back and look. I'm like, <laughs> next. So uh, as y'all know, we're back. Hi, Chris. Hi, Shaita, my loveys. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. So last night was reunion pop one. Mm -hmm. And I was stunned that it was a whole two hours. I thought we were only going to get like two hours. Why? Why? You know, and it dragged, it dragged, because all that extra stupid stuff, like, let's go back and see. Let's see what you said. Who cares? Well, let's see. Let's see what never aired. If it wasn't worthy of airing, do we care? No. Can I if say one thing about one scene that didn't air, though? I, yeah. and, and I don't want to jump into too much, but the unaired stuff that we saw from Alyssa? Whew. That girl is crazier than I think we all thought. She's she evil. is on. She looks cute. Other, though. Huh? She, kind of look cute. she like, kind of looks cute in the reunion. No, better I, than, I think so. Better than, better than she, she used like to. the whole time. Oh, she but her nice. makeup is all. Her makeup was always off. It was, it off, was at really the, off. It was off at the wedding. It was off at the. There was another thing that her makeup was always off, and it was off on this one too because she had. Light here, and then like anyway. But I like the. I mean, I think I like the outfit and the hair better than I liked before. I don't know. She just looked greasy, greasy yeah. to me. That's what she looked like. But those those clips that they showed that we had never seen those tantrums. Amazing that a grown ass woman and. All right. So who do we want to start with? We might as well start started. off with them. Let's get okay. them. Okay. All right. Table. I find it <laughs> but, um, that she could sit there and say the things that she has been saying over and over and over again. She clearly knows how we feel as an audience about her. There's really no saving her reputation. Her apology to, to Chris <laughs> without really acknowledging. <laughs> I, she tried this fake ass apology that was like, I didn't realize, you know, I was just upset and that's why I acted that way. I was we out of get, my mind. We get all, we all get upset. We don't act like that. And she acted like a pure, spoiled, obnoxious, rude, nasty Bitch. person. Bitch. Excuse me. Basically, here's the thing. Here's the thing. She's talking about she was overwhelmed and she, you know, when she saw him and he wasn't her type or what have you, but Kevin Frazier could have gotten a little bit, he could have gone in a little bit harder on her. You took that vape, you went to Puerto Rico. Because I thought we had to go. I thought we had right. to go. No, you don't have to do anything. Listen to me. I don't care if you signed an ironclad contract with Lifetime. If I'm not feeling this dude and I don't want to be with him, I will suffer the ramifications that come from a network if I decide to bow out. And honestly, networks don't want that smoke. If I decide this dude ain't for me, I'm not going to fake the funk, i.e. Jasmina, and go through a whole season. We'll get on to that. But I'm not going to fake the funk and pretend to be married to somebody knowing that this is never going to work. I'd rather take the chance and just bow out and let Lifetime try to say to me, well, you signed a contract. Really, you want to play this game, Lifetime? Because I could really take it to social media and spill all the tea. 
They'll let me go. So if she really wanted to go, she should have been gone. She wanted to be in that. And she, she just wanted to see how far she can go with this and get a trip out of it and a living arrangements. And that bullshit she had to say, well, Chris and I live far away. So for us to record, we'd have to, I'd have to drive far. He'd have to drive far. Bitch, what? no. The whole point of the show is it's married at first sight. Not Thank you. hang out together um, you know, with a bunch of married couples at first sight. You know, first of all, she still could not at least give the man some, hey, you know what? Even if she's like, I'm out, I was not on my head, turn to him and say, look, you're a nice guy. I just wasn't attracted to you. I'm sorry. You know, I did. I was out of my head. I said some, I said some mean things to you about you and, you know. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Whatever. She couldn't even do that. She could not even do that. And I was like, and Chris, look, if I wish he had just. Oh, God, no. I don't advocate. I don't advocate that. But if he just went, so I think whatever. And <laughs> because she. That's the actor coming out in you. <laughs> if she could. It, she could not even give the man. So were you or not? You weren't attracted to him. Well, it was. It was more than. It, well, no. Just say no. Just say no. Just yeah. say no. I wasn't. When I first saw him, I was not. Well, there were other things that his, his friend, friend that was stupid. Yo, I wish he'd addressed his friends on the thing. Like you know what? That part. They're not friends of mine anymore because she wouldn't have had that excuse. She would have had that. I listened to what they said again. Was it me? Them saying like, okay, he can be condescending sometimes, but you know, just hold firm. I didn't really, it was like so bad. If, no, it if, was if bad. If you're about to get married to someone you bad. don't know, if you're about to get married to someone you don't know and your boy and your girls say, oh, Shahida, she can be a real bitch in the morning. And That's don't different think- than condescending though. But, but even no. saying something negative about you to someone you mm-hmm. don't even know and you don't know her or how she's going to take it. You, That's right. You, you got to you gotta back up your boy. He's the, you, you want their marriage to work, right? I you agree. Would, you would be like, you know, he works a lot. You don't have to say condescending. He works a lot, you know. He's a really hard work. You can say yeah, if he's condescending. Those things, I, I feel like no matter what they said, she was gonna reach for anything because I think saying that to any, if he had said, if they had said that to me, I might, yeah, I might be a little bit more cautious. I don't like condescending behavior either. But to go the limp that she did, there's, I, she, she, like you said, she was looking. But you know what really upset me is when he had to look or listen to oh, the way man. that she reacted, and this you. was on the producers. The producers, I'm not even going to put the experts in that. Why would you set this man up every single week when you knew that she was having these tantrums and these meltdowns and insulting him and disrespecting? And you let her do that. They let her do those things, you know? And then the, the thing about, like, do you want to call the, um, the, the, the professionals? No, I don't want to call them and blah, 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 blah. They should have been like, you know what? Maybe you should pack your bags. The producers should have said, maybe you should pack your bags and go back home. Because what she said and the things, how she behaved about him was so repulsive. And I really felt bad for him having to listen to that. And to the producers as well. And how she treated the producers as well. Yeah. 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 You know, it was horrible. Let's, Let's not forget that when it came time, when the producers were talking about the experts, when she said no, she mm-hmm. piggybacked on it and said, I hate them. Crazy. She crazy. So it's not like it, it's one thing because we've all been there. It's just human nature. Sometimes you're put in a situation that you don't like, you don't want to be in. Sometimes things are said, but there are some things that shit like that is just unacceptable. I hate them. Really? The maturity level of a child. Yeah. And, but I will, I have to commend, 
I cringed when Chris had to sit there and see that shit again. Mm -hmm. He's already seen it. But I commend him. And Chris is that dude because his response was epic. He's like, Mm -hmm. I wish I was just privy to this sooner because I wouldn't have gone 10 days. I'd have divorced her ass. I would have asked for a divorce immediately. Yeah. That was his response. So he was giving those like mm, dings to her because every time he said some, you know, sideways shit with regards to her, she looked all shook. And I'm just like, she never looked at him. She never looked looked at him. But she cut her face every time he said something. And he's like, I would have asked for a divorce sooner than that. She was all like, all smug looking. And I'm like, bitch, don't act like you fancy now. Like, she's a horrible human being. There is nothing, there is nothing that, and she tried to make it seem like, you know, people don't know her and people are all judgmental online. No, bitch, Mm -hmm. that's all you. Because you put yourself out there and you you showed your whole crazy ass. She is, let me take crazy off the table because that's an insult to people out there that are seriously (laughs) suffering from mental illness. She is an absolute horrible person. She's horrible. And I feel bad for the person that she is with. If you are not a perfect, she is not perfect. Everybody is flawed. Everybody has issues. You are in no position, ma'am, to expect this Adonis, wonderful, perfect, you know, perfect face, perfect body. That's what I'm saying. Handsome, perfect body, perfect job, making money, all this Everything you can't expect that from someone when you ain't bringing that shit to the table your damn self. When she's when he said when Kevin said, so you didn't give him a chance. Mm-hmm. She couldn't even say that. Mm-hmm. She couldn't. Even, she was like, no. Well, it was like, no, you you did. And I, I and Kevin's. Yes, he could have gone in hard on her, but he know he knew she wasn't gonna budge. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So what's the what's the point? I mean. He was like, come on. He's like, I mean, there's. And she's there's just digging her own grave. He's just like. Ugh. Or they might have, they probably said to him, if I was a producer, I was like, I would have probably said to him, bro, we got her here. Be easy on the bitch because she's made it very clear that whatever she doesn't like to hear, she just she gets up and walks away. So I, I. I'm hoping that next week when everybody's on the couch, I'm hoping that he kind of, I'm hoping that somebody holds her feet to the fire and I hope it's Kevin. I think we'll it'll see. be Lindsay. I think it'll be Lindsay. Please, yeah. don't even Lindsay's get me started. Back. But the only reason I think it's going to be Lindsay is because n- none of the other women, I mean, Katina, a little, no, 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 Katina was with Lindsay. None of the other women really called her out on her bullshit. None well, of them. Jasmine, they're still friends. Yeah, they're front. Well, Jasmina and her are BFFs, but then go figure. They're both of them are crazy. I mean, not crazy. Let me take that off the table. They're both not both trifling, trifling, horrible people. Can can we jump to, to Mike and, and Jasmina now? Let's do it. Can I just say one thing first? Well, go ahead. I and said the you. bitch was fake and that she was gonna last like a few days, and then that thing would be over. She just did it. She just said yes, and I still can't even wrap my, my my mind around why she said yes. You know what? You know well, he's you know we're friends and all that. You wasn't attracted to him, but and then she blamed him. Her whole her whole demeanor again. It was coming up. She is she is Alyssa. She just plays the card better. She doesn't yep. have a good spirit, a good heart. She just plays it better. Mm-hmm. I. What I, I, was, I, I, what I can't I was, even say that I changed my, my yeah. thinking on her. What I was stunned about was when they both were like, we couldn't stand each other. Like we couldn't stand to be around each other. What have you. I was like, somebody hand Michael the, the Academy Award because this entire season, I mean, I could tell that he looked a little frustrated, but I... But that was he, at the beginning that they said it and we could see that well, because they weren't talking. Yeah, they didn't talk for a month. For a whole month. Yeah. And every time they did, it was extremely tense. And I understood what he meant. 
because he was like, I was afraid to talk to her because I didn't know how she would react. So I could see them saying, oh, we couldn't stand each other for that month. I think it, well, the the reason why I said that was because I was like, I thought that, you know, he was there for all, of course he was there for all of the right reasons. And I think he had some feelings there. I just think he was just on eggshells because he was. you know, she, she used those words. I, the whole thing couldn't stand each other. I thought it was her couldn't stand him, not him couldn't stand her. I thought he was just like, you know what? Let me play my position and just shut the fuck up and not say anything for fear of being labeled as that aggressive black man from a black woman, no doubt. And then for her to say, well, I called him, I sent him text after we got married and he texted me one. You all were only together 12 days. Rich. What did you do in 12 days, sis? What did you do? And and listen, you were right. You were right, Shahida, in that she, she was fake. She was trifling. She just, she got what she wanted. I mean, she just played the part. That's it. At the she, end, she never wanted to be in. in. This man. She and just at least played, said, played her position. At least Say he said that. to her, you weren't attracted to him. At least he, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you weren't attracted to him. When you first saw him, you weren't. He's like, oh, that's a woman. You know, I'm gonna, and you said, you looked at him, and you were not attracted to him. She couldn't even embrace that. Right. Mm-hmm. She couldn't even embrace that. She couldn't say, yeah, she's she's awful. I don't even know. I didn't even know. I thought the camera was gone. That's it. She didn't have the sack to end it until the camera was gone. Because... I kind of knew, I mean, we all knew, we all knew marriage he wasn't going to work, but the fact that on decision day, after they say they're going to stay married, and then when they're moving out, she's like, you know, they both decide she's going to go to her apartment and he's going to go to his. And I'm just like, seriously? Like, please, you, that ain't going nowhere. But he ended it because he said he, he picked up the phone and called her, right. her and said he's not getting more than what he got before and it's not moving in any direction and he and we all knew that 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 was going to be the case that it wasn't that it wasn't going to go anywhere that she was just trying to just doing it for the cameras that i don't know why she thought that would make her look better but again like i said she didn't have the balls to end it because probably because of how people would react it was easier for her to just you know go to her apartment she probably had this all planned out. I'm just going to go to my apartment and he's going to go to his. I'm going to tell him I don't want to live with him. I'm not ready yet. And then after a while, he's just going to get frustrated and break up and just say, I don't want to do this anymore. It takes it off of her plate to tell him, I just, I'm not that attracted to you. Or I'm not attracted to you at all. And now I don't want to be with you. She I also, like, him, I also like the fact that, that he said, he's like, oh, you got to give her, comp- you know, you got to give her. Kevin's like, you got to give her compliments and make her, did you tell her she looked beautiful? He's like, if she don't want me to tell her she looks beautiful, what's the point? What's and, the then, point? and then she jumped on that. Like, yeah, he never, no, 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 no. When somebody is not into you, why are you going to waste your breath and energy exactly. on telling them how beautiful they are? And she's not beautiful. Right. With that fucking raven eye. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, girl, thank you. It makes me think of the Raven, yeah. the Edgar Allan Poe po, po, po story. Wait a second, the Raven eye is that little thing in the corner that goes. Yes, out. I can't. <laughs> and it yes, didn't. Eddie, I don't care. It didn't bother me at all. It was just like it was one of those things that in the beginning, oh, she's beautiful. You you barely see it. But the the more she showed who she was, it was yeah. like, oh, she got ugly. But I'm curious. I'm like why, ugly real quick. Why are they were sitting so close together though? They all were though. No. Chris was no. leaning like this. Yeah, he was, he was, he was. But they, they, but, that, but you know, I think they they did it purposely with that little old mm-hmm. love seat. They put everybody yeah. on that little old love seat. There was still space on that love seat. I'd be like, they, yeah, there was, it was because Mark and yeah. Lindsay had a little space too. Because he was like this. <laughs> Listen, I already knew when Lindsay and Mark came out, that was a done deal. Just when they sat down, I was like, oh yeah, because she just turned her back to him and was like, tank. I was like, okay, we're done here. Um, 
My, yeah. Um, I hope my, you know, Michael ain't going to hurt. Um, Michael's going to find him, his lady out there because the internet is on fire and Michael is Boston skilled. But he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah he does. And I, and, and I, I really felt for him when he said, after she said those things about him being aggressive, when we clearly saw how aggressive and nasty she was, that Basically. I can see you feeling like, you know what? I don't know what way to go with this person, you know? And I, so I'm, I'm, I hope that he doesn't end up finding somebody. I feel like him and Chris deserve some real compensation for the bullshit that they had to go, especially Chris. I mean, Lifetime, y'all got to do something for that man because the way that woman treated him and said those things, it's, it, that should not have been even aired in my opinion. That was That's abusive. how disgusting it was. It was yeah, abusive. it was bad. Abusive. Yes, it was and horrible. And also, Jasmine was like, I'm a black woman too. I know uh, how a black, a black man... Then why'd you say that? That's an aggressive comment. Right. You know, then why'd you open your mouth and say it? Not once, not twice. But she was basically saying sometimes. that, you know, as a black woman, you know, she could call that behavior out for him being, uh, you know, aggressive and that like you, like that needs to be done. And in, 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 in a lot of cases, it does. But she is that fake bitch that tells lies on men. Right. Yeah. And so, g dear Jasmina, go back to doing what you've been doing and dating dudes that don't live here. Because if you think those brothers are being truthful to you and being honest with you, boo boo. Yeah, okay. Not Run with you. That. Not with you, girl. I mean, not with probably you. end up with somebody. You know, everybody and somebody always picks up the trash. But you know. Thank you. Somebody will just want to get with her to hit it and quit it just to say they've been with Jasmine. And that's how probably that's what she has been dealing with all her life anyway, because yep. she has so much emotional issues. Yeah. We all right. So off of them. We called it. We called it with Steve's bank account. Okay. okay. Can I do a confession? Can you all tell me what happened? Because I was so bored. I missed them. So what happened? So with... Steve and Noy, they, oh, I was like, who's coming up my stairs? That's my cat coming down the stairs with her. Uh -oh. Anyway, <laughs> she's all pounding her paws, pounding on the stairs. I'm like, who that is? Somebody break in my house. Oh, Lord, Shane and Shaniqua, you need to lose some weight. Anyway, Steve and Noy came out. I noticed off the rip that Noy wasn't wearing the diamond. So I was like, okay. maybe they're not married. Or maybe they're not married and they're just wearing the rings to until they, you know, announce that they're not together. Well, they played a joke. They are still together. She had her engagement ring on the inside and she flipped it around because Kevin had made reference to that. Like, I see you're not wearing your diamond, whatever. Long boring. Story short, yeah, boring. It was boring. Long story short, Steve and Noy is still together. They're happy. She's, oh, he's had the conversation with her about, you know, she's okay with his talk about, you know, how, what he's going to do as far as their future. Mm -hmm. Look, I think they had that talk way before this now, because when he pulled out that magnificent diamond on decision day, she didn't wince. Now, if all this time you've been tank, 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 tank about money, if that was me, and you pull out a ring like that. Yes, I may be overwhelmed at first, but I'm going to be like, why did we, how did you get this money for this? Shahida, crypto. He got an early. Oh, yes. Uh, he got an early on probably Bitcoin. Probably uh -huh. got you know, three Bitcoin. Coin. Worth like $150,000 mm -hmm. or whatever. Do one of those. He said he got an early on a, on a thing. So, so it's not, so he can't say it's like, well, I've got this much money. But he's like, but I got, you know, these things as investments. Yes. That okay. When I cash it in, I can cash it in. Mm -hmm. He's good. And then so they brought good. Sriracha out. Why? I don't like. I don't like her. I don't like all. her. That's why I just like. I don't, I don't care about their happiness because I knew it was going to be like, oh, we're happy and we're in love. So I'm like, fuck them, and I left. It, no, when Sriracha came out, I was just like, I sat there watching it and I was just like, why are you here? 
Well, why are they giving this woman? What did she say? She was talking about they showed an unknown, an unaired clip when she um, met with Steve by herself. And she was basically grilling him. Bitch, mind your business. See, I don't like people like that. I don't care if you're a sibling or not. If I, I will tell you about my relationship, I will tell you what you need to know. But what you're not going to do is insert yourself in my relationship and, and interrogate my man. You're not going to do that. She was all asking him, you know, what's your plan? You know, do you have a job? You gonna get a part time job? What, whatever she was asking, there was no need for Sriracha to be on there. It was a waste of. That's because it's so boring. Kevin said, and Kevin said, "Oh, so you're you're a hit on the internet on the webs." And he's he and she's like, he's like, you know, and she's like, I know. Like she had. Ugh. Not with me, because I can't stand Sriracha. Sorry, not sorry. She's a she was oh. a pain in the ass when I first when she first entered the series. And mm -mm, sorry, don't like her. And and Sriracha also said, um, "You have any advice for them?" And he said, "Don't don't be condescending, or t talk like a child. Like you know, you did this. You know, you did that." I was like, "Because she did this and did that." Because yeah, she, she acted like, like a, child. a little child. You when you act like you, I'm going to deal with you how you act. If you want to act like a twelve year old. If you're 33 years old and you want to act like a petulant child, then I'm going to deal with you like a petulant child. So Sriracha, sit your ass down. I ain't taking advice. I ain't taking relationship advice from people that ain't in relationships. Now I don't know Sriracha's story, but I'm pretty sure Sriracha don't have a man or a woman and is in a committed relationship because she's all up in her sister's business. She, well, actually, she's dating someone named Tapatio. No oh, good. Let them go. Let them go make some taki chips together. <laughs> taki taki. <laughs> well, we can. I, 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 I didn't have anything for them. I knew it was going to be full. So. And she said that they're not going to have. They don't have to have three kids. They're going to take it, and they're going to have a kid within a year. Listen, she changed her tune real quick. She moved in with his ass real quick. When when she was saying, but she still has her apartment, but she they said that, you know, they're together like maybe six, seven days or every day of the week. And sometimes, you know, she'll go to her place. But remember in the beginning, she was like, I'm going to live in my apartment, whatever. And he was like, no. Oh, yeah. He doesn't. Well, why are you even going for that one day a week? That's stupid. Well, he said he, he doesn't like it. He just says, you know. He doesn't she's, mind it. He kind of, I think he kind of likes it too, because he has his own independence as well. True. So, Could and be. They're still, and they're still getting to know each other, and they're going to uh, counseling. Couple steroids. Well, that's yep. good. That's good. Yep. I mean, that's a plus. Team, that's that, that, counseling. Yeah, they. I'm glad that they're doing counseling. That means that they're in it, and that they're they're taking the necessary steps to try to make this a successful marriage. We shall see. I don't know. I'm, the, I'm still on the fence with them, but no, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah, I think they will be fine. I'm not really mm -hmm. I, because, like you, we've said all along, they'll be fine because he's fine. He's gonna he for whatever reason he likes the way her ass smells, and he's gonna deal with her bullshit. And you know, she'll she'll make adjustments, you know, because she'll get the lifestyle that she you know feels that she wants, but. Yeah, I don't I don't see them really. If they do get divorced, then whatever. Who cares? Who cares? I think, I think, I think they'll last. I think that I think they're they'll be fine. Yeah. We'll see. It'll be interesting. So you want to um, talk, talk about your boy? Go ahead, Tanya. I was very surprised about that. About I was what? very surprised about your that boy. Still together? Listen to me. I don't care, and I'm probably gonna get ripped and ripped and ripped for this, but I still don't like him. There is nothing either. that that man can say to me. There is something off with him. I mm -mm, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. And when they were all up in there, I'm gonna show you all I saw when the two of them was on there and he got down on the knee and put that ring on her finger. This is all I could see. What is that? What is that? 
Uh, that is Ike I, and Tina. I can see. <laughs> I can um, Tina Turner. I wanted to say, boo boo, this is Boston, not Nutbush, you know, Memphis. Mm -mm, no. You know what I thought when seeing them and his speech or whatever? He was very aware, I think, while they were filming, how people perceived him. He was very aware of that. He didn't try and change much, but he did, he did kind of say that, you know, no one around him in his circle really spoke to his behavior. And we remember that, I remember the coach, you know, the coach, not, I felt that the coach should have called him out on his bullshit and he did not. They kind of up upheld that, that BS that he was. And then he kept talking about how she was reading that stuff, but still staying strong with him or whatever. I think that what he did was more for the audience to say, see, you all were wrong. I don't think that he's changed that much. I mean, I know that everybody was like, well, he went out and he 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 dropped the whole dinner thing or whatever. Yeah, that was a small thing, but the disrespect, like the 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 putting her down, I don't think he stopped that. I think that she, because oh, yeah. she's broken, that she has accepted it. And that he can apologize and she'll think that like battered woman syndrome. He'll mm -hmm. apologize and she'll move on. But I don't think that he's changed. I thought I thought that whole thing was just real bullshit and was for you, me, and Chris and everybody else to be like, oh well, maybe, maybe mm -mm. it was acting. No. It was acting. It was acting. Yep. And you know damn well he would have never given that ring on TV like that if Steve didn't put that ring on Noy's finger on decision day, you know, that had to play into it, please. I sold my house. So. Yeah. And that didn't make it because he said he sold his house, he sold in, this, his house in this market. So you're not getting another one because you didn't get a whole lot for that house in an apartment, but he sold his house and talking about, I'm leaving. I had to leave every again. Everything about I mean, Isaac. I had to, Isaac, Isaac had to go because, you know, I couldn't bring her in this house after everything that went down in this house or whatever that he said to that effect. And I'm just like, who gives a shit? Like, if I marry you and you have a house and I don't, who gives a shit? Yeah, I might want to change some things, but I'm going to have you sell your whole house. That don't make no damn sense, but whatever. You know who has an opinion on that? Who? You might have a guest coming on very soon. So look in your thing in a little bit. <gasps> we gonna have a surprise guest? Yes. Oh snap! Mm. Um, look, I again, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, and I like you, Shahida. I think that, um, like a like a what's what did you say? Like a syndrome or whatever she had. Oh, battered women syndrome. Battered women, battered women syndrome. I just think that he is just going. Yeah, I think it's just a front, like you said, for all of us to see. I don't buy his spiel for nothing. He did he did own up to at least for the fact that he said um I did act like an ass. He said I, I did act like an ass and I um <clears throat> I saw how I acted and and you know I was embarrassed about that and I wish someone had said something and so and so. So I think there may be some sort of redemption for him, just a little bit. I don't think he's changed that much, but I think he saw how he came off and it wasn't a good look. Do you, I think I it think was the reactions of the audience. That's it. I think he's not genuine in his, oh, snap. Well, ho, 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 hold on. Before we get started, we got to bring a little guest to the stage here. All right. Wait, here we go. Hi, hi. Oh, look at you. I'm in my, hey. in my Broadway dressing room. Yes. Focus yes. on great. Broadway, everyone. You must go see it. I will be going next month. Good. But our show starts in 10 minutes, so I have to be quick. Okay. The, floor, the floor is yours, Queen. What you got to say? I was, first, I was shocked last week when everybody said yes. That was incredible. Uh, and then this week, um, we knew, 
we knew Lindsay and Mark. I mean, come on. That's that's nothing new. Um, and uh, kind of, cool. you know. Elijah Wong. As well. So I, I didn't realize that Michael was going to be the one to say I'm out. I was surprised about that. That was a little twist for sure. What's your what's your take? Give us your take on Elijah one because I still ain't buying his BS. Sorry. Really? No. They you, seem like they're in love. They seem like he's sorry. I'm trying to get my where we at. He's you know the the uh, the physical you know language seems to mean that he's all into her. I don't know. You you're not buying him. I'm not buying no. it. I'm I, I think it was I the said, audience's reaction. Yeah that made him say, let me act better or let me try and do better. Maybe he has some type of like change, but I think a lot of what he did and said was for us to be like, well, he, he's, he's not a bad person. Right. Hmm. Cause it was still really focused on him. But I, he's willing to, to take it though. She's battered that, woman syndrome, oh. battered woman syndrome. <laughs> I said yes. I think I think he changed a little bit because he said he acted like an ass. Remember that's so I said I, I think there's a little bit of push for him to make a little bit of a change because he saw how bad he was, and and he was he. I don't know about this emotional thing. I don't know if I believe his emotional when he cries and stuff like that, but it, it seems genuine. But you know, yeah. He did that because he, he saw his ass getting dragged for days on the interwebs. Look, bro, them good looks and the muscles don't get you that far. Right. You could put lipstick on a pig, but at the end I of the hope, day, it's a pig. I hope for Katina that it works out because I okay. really think that she's a sweethearted person and does not deserve the put downs and the disrespect that he gets. So I, I would hope, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling him. He, this is gonna, you know what? Give it a year. If he, they come back a year later and he's, he's still talking the same and she co-signs on some of the things he's changed, then I believe it. But like right well, now, I, I just well, can't. Maybe when they do a, they do the spinoffs, you know, they do the couples cam and stuff like that for the, for the new shows on life on, you know, so we'll see how they are and if they last, or are they doing that for to be on TV once again and have a, a steady thing because you know they sold the they sold the he sold the house. That everybody saw it. Listen, everybody in America saw Woody and Armani's come up. Everybody loved them, and then when they went to the couples cam, they are making all kinds of money just based off of the couples cam and off of their YouTube channel and off of their other stuff that they do on the internet. They are doing very well. So I'm pretty sure that they're like, let's just stay together, fake the funk, let's get on couples cam, make a couple of dollars, you know, get some advertisements or what have you. Deal, 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 deal. What did you what did you think of Chris and Alyssa? Or Alyssa? I, I didn't even I skipped through that because I didn't want to hear her. I just <laughs> because I didn't listen. I literally fast forwarded to that whole thing. You know, All right, we, so we know that we're on limited time with you and we appreciate it, but before you have to jump off, we're going to give you the floor and let you talk. About, we haven't talked about um, Lindsay and Mark the Shark yet. Give it. Give it. I think she's got a lot of issues. Uh, obviously, we all know that. Um, and I don't think she's one of those people that will never be happy with anyone. So uh, good luck with whoever is she meets in the Silicon Valley where Palo Alto, wherever she's going, good luck because she's a tough, I, she's hard to please. And there's a reason why you're estranged from your mother forever. You know, there's a reason if you can't communicate and you've got issues over and over again throughout your life, there's some, there's some behavioral issues there that, you know, she's got to break through and she's got to let go of the past and stop judging everything she you know she thinks that she's all un you know flexible and open and she's intellectual she's intellectual and very judgy in intellectual exactly <laughs> <laughs> poor mark, poor mark. Just managing his what is he what is he managing that chicken chick-fil-a chick-fil-a Oh, girl. Chris, you gotta tell her. Did you tell her how y'all yeah, had yeah. me stalking him at Chick fil A? 
He's also got his firefighter. You say he's cast his fire. Oh, yeah, I did see that. that. Is he, he dropped old? Mm-hmm. 40 pounds. Old? And he looked nice in his little suit. I was like, go ahead, Mark. <laughs> I think somebody picked his clothes out. Probably. <laughs> you know, he had to sell them. He had to sell them. Yeah, 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 he had to sell no. <laughs> don't, don't, don't talk about chucks. Don't talk about my chucks. Well, I love my chucks, but you know that ain't Mark's thing. All righty, yeah. sister friend. Well, listen. So what, did, what did you? I never talked to you. What did you think about the psychic reading? Uh, that when they told Michael, then they told her that she might Jasmina that it wasn't him. The next person she'd have twins with or something. I can't remember what it was. No, she said. Remember, she said. Um, Jasmina, if you decide not to be with Michael, you will find you'll be with someone really quickly, but right. you'll realize that you made a mistake. Like right. in time, she's going to realize she made a mistake and he was the dude for her. But Michael was the one who said, I'm out, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you was know, I, mean, married, you, I would do it the same too. And you, you get married and then you say yes on decision day. And then on, as the day you move out, you're like, I'm going to go live in my apartment. You go live in yours. Yeah. Right. We'll see each other when we see each other. Right. Come on. Mm -hmm. It was 12 days and that was her whole plan. She knew that she did not want to be married to him. And as soon as it was oh, 12 days, that's not enough time to work on a, a, a marriage. You all weren't seeing each other every day. She's talking about, I text him. That wasn't good enough. You know, right. he knew that she, her feelings weren't in it. Yeah. That was like that. From the beginning. From Straight the up. Beginning. And we all saw how nasty Jasmina could get. Uh -huh. Her tone. There you go. Her tone. Her she was tone. That tone, but her tone was very negative as well. I agree. Extremely aggressive. Very aggressive. And that's why her and Alyssa are BFFs, and they're all over the internet taking selfies and posting. Are they? Them. Oh yes. my gosh. I've seen a few pictures there. Oh yeah, with their dogs. Oh please. <laughs> okay. I said earlier. I said that Jasmina. Is is Alyssa with better playing cards? She just knows how to play the game yeah. better than Alyssa. But they mm -hmm. have the same type of attitude. Mm -hmm. Interesting observation. Mm -hmm. yes. That's why you guys are the pros. <laughs> well, we need you to be the pros now. because Dr. Callum didn't do it. Oh Dr. my God! Callum. We still need to be the professionals or the experts. Because they did not do mm -mm, do justice last season and this season, and the new season is coming up in July. So, ugh. well, they were all in tears because they thought they got a home run or what a royal flush or what. What a, when you get a oh, yeah, 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 they were they were popping that them champagne bottles, and I'm like, mm -mm, y'all, y'all already know. Y already know. know. <laughs> but it's going to be interesting next week because they've never done it like this before where the experts come in or the professionals come in and sit and talk with them and tell them what went wrong. They never did that before. Ooh, okay. So that's going to be interesting. Okay, I'll be tuning in. And they just said top of Act One, got to go on Broadway. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's see the on POTUS. See All right. Out. She that was so go. cool. That was nice. That was awesome. Shout out to Vanessa. Wow. Oh, yeah. She looked yeah. really All good. Right. Uh, and she's on POTUS on Broadway. Go see her there until August. And um, yeah, back to until the... August. Uh, it's there till August. I was looking at the dates this morning as to when I can go next okay. month. Um, Mock the shock. Yeah, let's get into that. <laughs> she is the evil. Second worst, whatever. Yeah, this is the worst. But to 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 for for her, well, you know, I gotta say one thing though. Let me say one thing about this. Mark needed her to revamp that house. I'm glad he at least squeezed that out of her and got the. She's like, well, you're you're better off for me. Yeah, I'm better off my house done. All that done. Bye, bitch. I didn't realize it was a three family house. Yeah, well, I guess so. But so she redid the whole thing. She maybe he used her a little bit. Let me just let me just see if I can get her. No. I hope he did. I, I hope he did. So. No. I hope no, he I did. Think so. 
Mm-mm. You think no, the way she talked to him and the way she treated him, I hope he was like, you know what? I'm going to let her do this thing for me for three weeks and get my house together. And then, bye! I'm going to change the locks on you. No, <laughs> I think I think that's a good... Listen, if that truly is the case, then I really, really, really would have wished that he would have really went for the jugular and said, yeah, bitch, I did use you. That would have been great. I got my new house. I got my new suit. I lost 16, 35 pounds. 40, 40 pounds. So was he it 40 pounds? pounds. So 40 I thought he said like 16 or 20 pounds. I can't remember. But anyway, he looks good. He's got his fancy suit, his chucks. He's got a job. He's working at the Chick-fil-A by me. He's friggin'. I, I would have hoped he said. Firefighter's exam to be a fireman who, or whatever. Who's dumb now? Right? See, who's intellectual now? Stupid I like kid. intellectual. You are not intellectual, Lindsay. No. That's why she only dates engineers. Oh, oh yeah, the engineers. Yeah. She's, no. she's trying to get some dating people with money. That's what she that's why she's in Silicon Valley. She's trying to get somebody yeah. with some money, some disposable income. Yeah, that is true. But she needs somebody that's gonna put her ass in check because you do realize when she started popping off her mouth. About Steve and Noy, and Steve checked oh, her that. ass. Yeah. Steve checked her ass in a low key, classy ass way that that is Steve Moy. And she did not part her lips. He that said was what on he was last night's show? That was on last night's yeah. show. Cue it up. When they were all, all at the beginning, they were all sitting there. When oh, yeah, I should miss the beginning. Them. When I they were first the introducing them, he was, they, she said, um, because remember, he he got uh, he said a, a, a comment to her about oh, so she made the uh, the fight, and then she she went in on him, and yeah. he said, oh, I apologize, but I didn't mean to. I was making a joke. I didn't mean to get mad at you or make you That's upset. That's when they were what Shahida, then when they were at the retreat. Remember when they were at the retreat in Vermont and they played that dumbass game about who would be the first one to do this, and I guess the question was who who would be the first one to start the fight or whatever, and everybody was like Lindsay, and then. She kind of got pissy and Steve had said something. I forgot what he said, but she kind of got mad about it and then he apologized. But he apologized to her and she said they showed the clip of her making fun of Steve and Noy about, um, oh, you want to have three babies. You want to have three babies. A a stay-at-home mom and a jobless husband. A jobless husband. I remember that. He tried to part her mouth to say something and Steve came back and shut that bitch down. She couldn't part her mouth. She does that shit to people like Mark because she can. I guarantee you when Mark and her moved into his grandmother's home to renovate, he probably said to her, let's just go back to the beginning. I got bed bugs. I gotta go, when we get back, I have to get this stuff done. I have to go do this. And what did she do? Oh. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. She inserted herself in it. Everybody commended her for it because she stepped up and helped him, what have you. I bet you anything, when he went into this this new house or the grandmama's house to renovate, he probably said, there are some things I want to do. Probably wasn't within her timeline because she wanted to get rid of this dresser, that, that table, this, that, and the other when they had their last meal there or their date meal. And she probably was like, take the reins and let me do this. I got this. I'll do this. I'll do this. That's all her. So shame on her that she feels like she got used because I can see her ass right now taking charge and pushing his ass in the background, calling in contractors, everything else to get shit done. And he's probably sitting there like, what the hell? Yeah, but now he's like, but I got a new house now. And three families across the country. And she's across the country because did we not peep? What she said, Vanessa said it when she's like, you know, with her relationship with her mom. And um, she said she does better away from her family. Her family. That's why she moved clear across the country. I do better when I'm away from my family. Then why so are you that's there? That's everybody. That's not just yeah. the mother. That's everybody. That's everybody. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying to myself, 
you have obviously a horrible relationship with your family. Your father and your brother couldn't wait to get rid of you to Mark. Your mother didn't show up. And what made you think you were going to be a good wife? Bitch, go to therapy. She's going to go. Thank God she done left Massachusetts. We don't need you back here. Go to Palo Alto. Oh, she'll be back. Valley, she'll be back. And yeah, go find yourself your engineer. Please. I have a couple of things. One, when Kevin asked her, was she dating anybody? And she went and had this laundry list of this person that she was dating. It was all in the past tense, though. He was this, you know, she and he never said, well, so what's the status now? She didn't never she never spoke of this person as if it was a present relationship. You know, no one else um, beat that. She no, was talking about Mark just, like that. She was talking about Mark in the past. No, 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 no. When he asked her, was she dating somebody? And she was naming. She said she's dating in general. Right. But she went through the. No, she she said one particular. Per, well, I don't know if it's one particular person, but I, I assumed it was one particular person. And she was like, you know, he was intelligent. He was this. He was that. It wasn't like he is. He is smart. He is. He, she was like, he was. That is true because that that's what led up to um, Kevin asking her. He's like, I, I kind of think that you're you're saying all of these things because you feel like Mark is yeah. that and the thing so that hurt him. In the the him out. Right, and that's when Mar that's when Kevin asked her, "Do you not think he's intelligent?" And then she's like, "Well, no." She's a he horrible human. After that, he really shouldn't have because she he knew where she was going. We knew that was a punchline. It was just really another, you know, humiliating moment for him unnecessarily. But the other thing is, is that I had with, with Lindsay. I don't like Lindsay. I don't. Absolutely not. She's a horrible person. There are things that you could fix. You know that you're being obnoxious, but you stay in that. You stay in that because that's what you want to do. But... As much as I don't like her, I can't help but be, feel a little bit bad for her upbringing or whatever happened in her childhood up to, because I don't know if her mother ruined her, if her father ruined her, but there was some real trauma in this woman's life. And it's clear. It's clear. But we're living in the age of Oprah get some therapy. We all know at this point, you know, there are things that you can fix. So as much as I hate her, I'm like, it must be painful as fuck to be her every single day. But you got not one, not two, but three so-called experts, professionals. You couldn't tell me that not one of them, and you have to take all kinds of personality tests and psychological oh, tests, tests what, I, what I've been told. But I'm just like, either you're not taking either, either one, they're taking the tests and no one's reading them. They're just looking at these people and they're looking at her like she's, oh, she's a firecracker. Them. She's got some crazy in her. You know, as a pro I'm not a producer. I don't know that business, I, but I know drama when I see it, and I know what's going to probably make people watch. And you see her, run, you know, roaming around acting stupid as she did. I'd be like her, who didn't care who she got. Remember, I ain't picky. I'll take whoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, and she was happy to have Mark. She was happy to have him. Yeah. It's just that they that he was just too. He just couldn't deal with her. If he could have dealt with her, they no, would be. No one could deal with her. No. Friendship wise, family wise, or relationship wise, no one can deal with her. That's right. That's no right. One right. Yeah. And, and, and back to the experts again, or, you know, the people picking or whatever. I say the same thing about Alyssa, because after we saw those other clips that we hadn't seen, there's no way in the world. I know that I can sit down with Alyssa for 20 minutes and be able to tell you what type of person she is. How is yeah. it that these experts could sit down with her for days on days and be able to say, that's the one. Thank There's you. no way. 
Not the way that she was melting down. Not the way. Did you talk to any of her friends? Did you talk to her mama? Did you talk to anybody in this woman's life? Well, remember her friends were like giving, giving her shade too. Like, yeah, you can be. Remember the, the friends were like, yeah, you can yeah, be. Yeah, they were like, well, you can be that kind of way. Mm -hmm. And even her sister, I think, wasn't it her sister? Didn't she have like a sister? No, her friend. One yeah. of her yeah, friends she's only proud, her, I think. Her was talking to her. And she was like, you you tend to not give people a chance eliciting like that shit. But remember, yeah. bottom line, all of these couples, all these things, it's a TV show. Yeah. yeah. You want people to talk about it and you want, you have to have some toxicity in there somewhere to see if it, you know, to throw, I guess. To I don't make mind it toxic. I don't mind. Okay. Like they noise toxicness. I mean, I can deal with that to a point, but Alyssa and um, and, and Lindsay, the way that they spoke and treated these people, that I don't want to see. I don't want to see people humiliated. I don't want to see people hurt. Then we see in the preview next week, I don't know what the fuck she does, but he's sitting there red eye and tears trying to hold it back. And and you see Elijah trying to like you know you know defend him. She's probably really going for the juggler on him. She hates him, and yeah. part of the reason why she really hates him is because like she said, she did all that work for this house, and then she got rid of her apartment, and then he told her, "No, we're not going to be together." You know you had to do some fucked up shit if the brother done changed the locks on your ass. Give me the keys, change the locks, do everything. No. And she's not a genuine person because, you know, she had to write down her insults on that on that stupid ass letter she read to him talking about I gave you the I gave you the Lindsay effect. Yeah, you did. You friggin abused him. You verbally abused him. And that's why the man is a grown, a whole grown ass man and sat his ass there and said, this is the shit that fucked me up is when he said, um, I was bullied in school. You could tell. You could yeah. tell. I was bullied in school, but he made it very clear. I have never in my life been bullied by someone as much as you. You are the worst bully I've ever had in my life. That yeah. bitch is certifiable. And that, that is a discredit, again, to the professionals. Look how you brought this woman into this man's life to do that to him. He deserves so much more than that. Yes, That's I agree disgusting. with you. Yep. yep, I totally agree with you. It is a TV show. Yes, we we love the drama. We talk about it. It's our podcast. We talk about it. But at the end of the day, not to that extent. It's one thing if you might embarrass the person a little bit or you might give them a little dig or something, just but not to the point where it's so offensive that it could actually change a person. Because you can't tell me that Chris and Mark haven't changed. Chris and Katina. It's a lot of abusive relationships. That's in this. true. Katina, too. Abusive, You're absolutely abusive right. People. Abusive people. Because you just, with Katina, you can look at it. It's mm -hmm. easy. With when they got married on the wedding day, when she walked down that aisle and she was so refreshed, so gorgeous, so beautiful. And as time went on, her hair was a hot rat mess. Her bags under her eyes. She just did not look well. So it's one thing when you're just kind of, you know, you have a fight because everybody has fights. Everybody has disagreements. It's a whole nother thing when you are legit being horrible to a person yeah. and saying yeah. the things that that was said between Alyssa with regards to Chris and Lindsay with regards to um, Mark. And, and, and Elijah Ron too. You might as well just throw him in there too. Oh yeah, Elijah Ron. Things he said to her. Abusive as I mean, well. I keep forgetting about Elijah Ron because she, she's still with him. Somebody <laughs> loves him. Doesn't mean he's not abusive. I know I'm not saying mean, that. that doesn't mean he's not abusive, but I'm like somebody. I was about to say somebody needs to go help her. Shit, because I don't see this. I don't see this. Mm -mm. I don't see this. Mm -mm. No. And I, I want mean. it for her. I do want it for her. I do think that she's a. I mean, her. I mean, I don't like Noi, but she was the only one that I did like. I don't like her weakness 
or whatever. But as far as being a good person, I think Katina is a good person. And oh, she deserves. Person. I yeah. think she's a good person. I yeah, just think she, she deserves the best. So I want it to work for her. But I, I, time will tell. Time will tell. I'm quite sure her mother watching this show is not fucking feeling him. Oh, because God, no. that was my daughter and I'm watching this and then I'm seeing you giving him, I would be fucking furious. I know there's not a lot that she can say or do, but I would be furious. I bet you Olajuwon and Lindsay would be interesting. Well, oh, don't make me throw up. Because he would put her in her place and she needs that. She would respect him. She don't, she don't respect Mark from the beginning. I think I think Olajuwon I'm telling you. And then I don't he think was he respects people in general. I don't think Elijah Wan has the nutsack to to go up against her. It wouldn't work. He already he's seen her for what she is. I no, don't I'm think saying, I'm saying it, was, it, was, it was at the beginning. If I was is at the beginning. Oh he put, yeah. They matched Elijah Wan with Lindsay and Michael with Katina. Yeah. 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 Michael yeah. with Katina mm -hmm. and uh uh uh, Jasmina with Noise Dog. <laughs> well, just match Jasmina with, with Alyssa. You know, have, have a Yeah, because they know. came out of match. Yeah, they came out of match. They're too, they're all over the interwebs, you know, having selfies with their doggies. So. Well, we, we got two hours left. <sighs> yeah. By the way, the preview well, for, for San Diego, the preview for San Diego, I looked at the pictures. Three of them I can already tell are not going to work. <laughs> I didn't see I didn't see any preview previews, but I've seen um well, the, the pictures. pictures. The pictures. Yeah. Three of them don't look like they would work. All the black people are not gonna work. <laughs> and they play they did play um, on before I could get to um fast forwarding through the commercials. They did show a commercial for the next season, but it was nobody's faces. It was just the the words, the communication. Them talking, yeah, I, I saw it's that. Really yeah. Edited, so you've got one person saying, you know, I, I want to apologize to everyone for bringing you out. Well, you know, I, I'm sorry that you know I put you through this or whatever. And I was like, here we go with the. I think that was a COVID scare. Yeah, who knows? But it's coming back first week of July, so we let's get. We've got one more week. Part two of the reunion. I hope they blow it out the park, and I hope Kevin Frazier asks some really good, hard hitting questions and holds people's feet to the fire. We got to go out with a bang. That's we'll all. See. I'm interested to see the um, like the um, Pastor Cal and Vivian and all the. I'm interested in seeing that part because we've never seen yeah. that before, and they seem like they came with fucking guns and knives. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. They seen in some of the previews, it looked like they was not playing games with these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we shall see. Well, folks, that's been real. Thank you, Vanessa, for coming on board. That was a very lovely surprise. And um, we'll Did see you. I, I kind of geeked out a little. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I said, I kind of geeked out a little. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm really like excited to see her. Oh, because she's a Broadway and her, you know, whole thing. That yeah, looks really cool. she had her lace front on. Looking mm -hmm. sweet. All right, you, my lovies. Love you guys. Bye. See you next week. Next week. Do, 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 do.